everyone sit here and in this video we will be exploring neovim now on a certain live stream that i was doing some time ago i found out that you guys are very passionate about neovim and as a vs code user for 12 years i wanted to try it out and document my journey towards learning neovim now this will be a series of videos that i will be uploading so this one i'm targeting about 45 minutes to an hour video so whatever i explore in this video will continue in further videos that I will post later on my channel. Now the objective of this video is to let you guys know that learning takes time and usually we have to be open up and usually we have to be open about our explorations and our tech stacks our preferences that we have. I could use VS code without problems all my life and it would be fine. But just to keep myself a little flexible, I am exploring new Vim and as a result of this, I am I, and as a result of this, I have created this folder called Neo Express and uh, I will be exploring um, NeoVim's documentation and uh, let's begin. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to NeoVim documentation and uh, we will be starting from the very scratch. So. Okay. Okay, so NeoVim's uh, website has Fireships video on it. Nice. Um, I'm trying to find development. Okay, let's say. Okay, so maybe it has to be Vim documentation, not Vim, not new Vim documentation. Yeah, so Vim.org seems like a very basic website. So this is where we will be starting. Screencast, other documentation, the books. Um, so let's search Vim basics. Open source Linux Foundation, um, how to use Vim, Vim editor in Linux. I'm not seeing a tutorial, a documentation for official Vim website, vim.org. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there is a official uh, Vim how to start. Okay, fine. Uh, open source dot com. I will um, I will depend on this right here. Okay, so then type mkdir tutorial to create a new directory called tutorial go inside directory by CD tutorial. Okay, I have done this. So create a close and a Vim file without saving. So first of all, I have to do I think npm init. Because I'm targeting an express application, let's say a simple hello world application using NeoVim. First thing I have to do is run npm init. So package name, I will call it NeoXP version 1 description for neo vim entry point would be index.js test command nothing get repository nothing nothing author said the it guy nothing okay is this okay yes so i will do this then i would have to do nvim index.js I think this is what uh, we have to do. So it opens up a new file. Press enter. So I think we are in NeoVim now. Okay. So at this point, um, I would open up another terminal.
okay i will let me open up a new tab and i will do um, cd neo exp and i will do npm i express uh, body parser right so right now we are here and uh, i have to see how to use neo vim just like this right here so right now i do not know any commands how to get into edit mode of the file which is something that uh, vim users have to go through so let's see the scary part was thinking what if i change an existing file and mess things up after all several require me to work on existing files that by modifying them i wanted to know how can i open a closer file without seeing my changes vim file name where vim represent the target file name create model available java but having been available java fine okay so mode normal mode default for navigation and simple editing insert is for explicitly inserting and modifying text and command line for operating saving exiting etc okay this makes sense vim has other modes like visual select x mode normal insert and command line modes are good enough for us okay you are now in normal mode if you have text you can move around with your arrow keys and other navigation keystrokes which you will see later to make sure that you are in normal mode simply hit the escape key escape switches to normal mode okay let's do it yeah so it says normal at the bottom left it's a very small text i don't know if you can see that but it's here fine now this will be interesting press the colon key followed by q q exclamation point and your screen will look like this Oh, so it, it's for quitting. It's not for entering. Fine. In other words, you are abandoning all changes. You can also use ZQ. Choose whatever option is more convenient. Fine. Once you hit enter, you should no longer be in Vim. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. On the lower left, okay. Re reopen the file by typing Vim Java and press the enter key. Insert mode is when you can make changes to a file. First, hit escape to make sure you are in normal mode. Then press I to go into insert mode. Yes, that is the letter I. Fine. Let's do it. I. Now it goes to insert. Purple color, bottom left. Fine. Does that. Type some Java code. So at this point, I will go to express JS basic server configuration. And at this point, I don't really care uh, which website um, I'm taking the code from basically i just want yeah so we will do these four lines great so constant express equals require express nice it has it has auto suggest great constant app equal to express nice auto suggestions are not working that great for me it should have suggested um, express as a function and const port equals 4000 oh oops i press control plus save see this is the muscle memory that kicked in for vs code <laughs> uh, right after uh typing constant port equal to 4000 i went control s okay fine i will do this app listen port fine app dot listen port function is this too small um let me see if i can zoom in can i zoom in okay fine um settings main um what is there is the font size okay font size let's say 40 okay this works right so now you can actually see it function this thing so console.log oh the the auto suggestions are not working that great for me because it's pretty obvious that after console dot i'm most likely going to type log so let's see what is the oh i do not know how to 
um, scroll through all of this. First of all, why is my hands going towards the mouse? I cannot give up the mouse, it seems. So I don't know how to um, scroll through the auto suggestions just yet. Hmm. This is a problem. Fine. Console log express server running at port. Actually, I should not do it like this. Port. Port. Great. So now that I have done typing, like I am done typing now, um, I think how do I save this file? Um, very pretty. Now that text is highlighted in Java syntax, I will start with the file in Java. We will detect the syntax color. Save the file. Hit escape to leave insert mode and enter command line mode. Fine. So escape, normal mode, colon to go in command mode and x what was it x x exclamation point boom so if i do ls then i should see index.js fine so in bim let's make sure that i did correct things it says no c compiler found why no c compiler found cc ggc clang cl zig not found yeah so it does seem like i have done um correct thing why did i press control x it's the nano editor that has control x thing going on so command mode hit wq boom i'm out okay fine so it seems like we have figured out how to create a new file and uh, go into it and uh, yeah so we have figured that out so now I want to go into edit mode and do this body parser. So let's do this. nvim neo exp. Okay. Oh, what happened here? Oh, sorry, sorry. It shouldn't be nvim neo exp. Okay, so it did not create a file. Uh, when I ran nvim neo xp so it seems like until you save a file it does not get created so that's great okay so nvim index.js so okay so now go into insert mode i so insert mode so, okay so now I can do the typing experience is pretty much same as VS code. It's not looking. Okay. First of all, if app is express in line number three, app is express as a function, then app dot listen. Why is this not getting highlighted in any shape or form? Why is this text gray? I think I'm missing some kind of um, plugin right here. Um, I have to check about that. Like if my N nvim is configured properly okay fine so const body parser equals oh first of all let's just uh, check how to copy and paste things in nvim copy paste command neovim copy text outside neovim fine delete text in your editor v select d paste copied p Actually, this paste was deleted in second point. I do not understand. Paste command to paste mode instead of insert mode. Fine. Instead of using shift insert to insert the mark text, use vim register. So first copy your line like a yank command like blah blah. <coughs> okay, what is that? I don't get it. How you yanked it? What does yanking mean? Okay, I know what yanking means, but in this context, what does it mean? How to paste text in Vim? If you are in insert mode, just hit Control R plus, Control O. In normal mode, enter help clipboard and read that and anything related. Copy the printings. Watch this video. I don't want to watch video, bro. Um.
try plus p to paste from system clipboard fine so let me copy this line go to my neovim editor delete this line go into command mode press plus p what is that constant app equals express what is that i shift p no control p what is that express plus p huh so let's try once again I copied it and went to this control plus P. Why is it giving me express? Control R. Control R. It's giving me something with a double quotes. Ah, my hand is going on the mouse. Um, Fine, maybe that, uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Fine, I will do it later. Body parser equals require body parser. <gasps> the auto suggestions, I don't know how to, okay, enter key does work. I still do not know how to scroll through uh, the auto complete suggestions. Fine. So app dot use body parser in URL encoded. Now I really need to know how to copy paste. Um, copy. The next lesson is learning how to copy and paste text. But first you need to learn how to highlight text in Vim. Press V and move your left and right arrow buttons to select and deselect text. The feature is also useful when you are showing code to others and want to identify the code you want them to see. Okay, fine. Where it says system highlight on line four done. Okay, press Y. This is called yank mode. Oh, so yank mode is copy mode and it will copy the text onto the clipboard. Next, create a new line underneath by entering O. Note that this will put you into insert mode. Get out of insert mode by putting escape then hit P. What the hell? Okay, fine. Um, so they are saying to escape this. So press escape, normal mode. What was it? Press P. P. Oh, no. No, this is not it. No, this is not it. It's giving me weird. Um, okay, so what would happen if I went to line 11 and I press control P port? I do not understand this. Um, move to line 4 where it says system or print ln hello open source. Highlight all of line 4 done. Press Y. Copy the text from the clipboard. Now I need to paste outside text into um, Vim. Let's search the word paste. They didn't say it. How to paste outside text in Vim. Okay, so while line 4 is still highlighted, press Y. Okay, so let me hit escape. Y. And hit P. Nope, didn't work. Okay, fine. Let me try once again. So I will hit Y. Did, did this. Then create a new line saying O. Then escape. Then P. Nope, not working. Not working. Not working. Fine. I think this will require some sort of... Um, Sort of disappointed um, at this point. And why is it?
Man, this editor is weird. Huh? Envim index. What just happened now? Okay, fine. Insert app dot use body parser. One sec. <coughs> I shouldn't uh, say body parser like that. So body parser, right? This is better. Body parser dot URL encoded. Uh, the auto suggestions did not work. And what is this highlighting? Like, what is this? I'm sure there is something wrong I'm doing at this point. I'm not aware of uh, what I'm doing. Maybe I'll watch my own video three to six months from now and I will cringe at myself. So future me, if you are looking at this video, what is that? Snippet, 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 snippet. Again, my hands are going on the mouse. I really have to control my muscle memory. So hit escape, normal mode. This, WQ, boom. Fine. Seems like everything is fine. Here's my T. Okay, so let's continue. Putting routes. Okay, so before putting routes, I actually want to run the program and I want to see if it is. Oh, I'm opening. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so, so far I'm having a good experience with NeoVim. It does seem like following the documentation is helping. So, node index.js express server running at 4000 fine this does work okay cool so now let's try making a routes thing but i actually want to do this the correct way yeah using controllers and a route file so mkdir controllers and touch controllers basic controller.js i don't want to do this i simply want to go to neovim and i don't know this command just yet but this should work so nvim nvim controllers slash basic controller.js so basic controller.js it did open up something so let me uh, go into insert mode and write something. But what uh, will I write? Module.exports equal. Fine. Let me do this. Module.exports. Okay. Do you see this? This closing uh, curly brace is behind this line number uh, two indentation. Like, bro, I'm telling you, there's something happening here. I'm not feeling comfortable. Async function request. Oh, see, now it corrected itself. See? Corrected itself. Um, actually, equal to, there should be something here. Let's say MySQL uh, handler then there should be cache handler. But let's say MySQL handler, just for now. So home ASIC function, actually let's not even do MySQL handler. So if I type shift and right arrow, will it select? No, it doesn't select. Okay. So that doesn't work. So console.log, actually it won't be that. It, won't, it will be rest.render um let's say home and let's try to send some dynamic data in it we will say message as hello world so now that i have finished typing hit escape 
con control plus colon no shift colon or oh, shift plus colon okay not control plus colon type w so it saves What's recording? WQ. What is happening? What is happening? Did I mess up? Did I mess up? I did mess up. Um, what is it recording? Oh, shoot. No previous regular expression. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. A type command to continue. Escape. Okay, I'm stuck. <sighs> Let's not freak out. Um neo vim says recording at q what does that mean to start recording press q follow by a to z that's a regarding keystrokes to specify register vim displays recording a status line type any normal commands or enter insert mode and type text how can it be disabled and can end it by typing q again okay so q again oh sorry not this one Um, okay, I messed up. I have to force close it. Close tab. Shit. Already messed up. Um, so this file did not get created. It says tilde operator. You see this tilde operator? What is this file supposed to mean? Okay, fine. Let me try this. nvim controller slash basic controller.js. Nothing, uh, nothing happened. So let me go to insert mode, module dot exports equal home async function regress return rest dot render home message hello world fine so now if i do escape boom boom doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work the file is again messed up i do not know how to get out of this um Fine, I won't do this anymore. Uh, close it. I hate my life. Um, M K D I R controllers L S is controllers C D controllers. Then I want to do N Vim basic controller dot js. Fine, let's try again. So I want to do module dot exports equal this home async function regress. I want to do return rest render home 
data hello world escape shift colon boom i think it worked basic controller.js so yeah it did work yeah at least i've gotten this far okay fine let's move on touch routes.js so i have to create a file called nvim routes.js so i'm in routes.js okay first of all i have to configure oh no uh, the route file itself is requiring express fine um go into insert mode const cons router equal <coughs> the auto suggestions are not working for me constant basic controller equals require oh sorry controllers basic controller yeah so at least this much is working fine it should not say dot js yeah router dot get basic controller dot home module dot exports equals router So now that I have finished typing, I think everything is fine. Um, okay. So escape, shift colon, WQ, boom. So there's an index JS and there's a routes JS. Fine. So I think we have to import this routes JS into express uh, index JS. So I think this one line will do it nvim index.js i'm pretty sure i'm doing something wrong here because this should allow me to view all the files of this folder neovim and i should be able to um go to different files uh, without exiting neovim ideally it should work but it's not so we will deal with that later so app.use require routes.js right then i also want to do app.set view engine ejs app.use view engine ejs fine i don't want to use pug great so this works so i will escape i will hit shift colon wq boom okay fine so this does work i remember there is a path command for view files Fine, but we will create a mk bir views. Then we will nvim home dot ejs. Fine, I will uh, figure this out. Oh, sorry, I started typing right away. It's all the muscle memory of VS Code. <sighs> Fine. So insert mode, HTML, nothing comes up, HTML, hello, 
हेड टाइटल एक्सप्रेस एप um close head something happened something happened <gasps> what's happening body body html um so body tag then i want to display something in h1 tag auto suggestions are not working um h1 bang bang and i want to say message typing is done hit escape shift colon wq ls so it says views cd views <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Shit. Um, CD views. I'm sorry. Here I should have done nvim um, home dot ejs. Um, let's do it once again. HTML. HTML. head head title express app title body body h1 there is no indentation there is no indentation h1 h1 dynamic component for ejs message escape boom boom so at least this much muscle memory is now working fine for me i'm confident moving in and out of files now so <coughs> let's run node index.js oh actually it's not here but got a string What's happened here? Index.js line number five. Nvim. It seems all right to me. I don't know. Oh, is it app dot set? Sorry. Escape this, this. Running at 4000. And if I go to localhost. 4000 cannot reach <coughs> okay so npm i e j s <sighs> okay so basic controller uh, message is not defined CD controllers. Okay, what if I just did NVIM? Nothing.
okay wq doesn't work for empty files fine the cd controllers nvim oh it says data so i should say message fine if i do escape boom i'm out here so cd one step ahead node index js hey here we go so yeah i mean this is it for the video i hope that you cringed watching this um seeing a 12 year or 15 year vs code user try out neovim and uh, i totally failed on the copy paste command i do not know what is yank mode i have to check it out what is it searching in vim is not useful to me just yet uh split mode maybe i'll check later and i don't know uh, most of the things like i don't know how to open a folder uh fully folder structure on the left side and files on the right side like vs code does i do not know how to install uh, extensions just yet to help me out with my coding things i do not know most of the commands just yet i ideally would like to enter neovim and not exit out so i do not know these sort of things but i will keep learning and uh support me uh, if you want to please do i will try to create more videos on neovim uh, my learning phase so you will watch an experienced developer who is working with vs code for 12 to 15 years uh, shift to neovim and how much effort it takes um, as i've always said learning takes time so you will see that in action so support the channel if you can if not completely fine um, join my live streams, join my Discord server, you can follow me on LinkedIn and blah blah blah. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.